Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here. And today, obviously, this is a little bit different content than what you guys are normally used to. Apologize for the acoustics. Apologize for the bit of a noise here. As you can see, something's missing right here. <laughs> Definitely the air box, okay? But why is the air box missing, you would say? Well, I know I said I've been wanting to do a few different things for the channel here, and uh, this is one of them. I figured I had a bit of a bad day with the car, so I thought I would share uh, share my pain with you guys, I guess you'd say. But all in all, it wasn't too bad of a thing. Uh, it's what happens when uh, when you own a BMW. I love mine to death, and you know, do anything for it. It's like a kid. It's like no, whatever it takes. <laughs> um, so uh, so yeah, I just want to kind of give you guys a a little bit of a rundown in case you haven't. Um, in case you have this issue, in case you uh, might be wanting to do this issue as a preventative measure, because I've been seeing that, I probably want to maybe do that myself. Also, excuse the uh, dirty power steering reservoir. That's going to be changed out. It's just spillage. <laughs> so what has or what occurred? Well, what occurred was, here, I'll try to hold this. That's what happened. I was dripping in the engine bay, but that's all okay. So that as you see this hose actually came apart and this is the upper radiator hose for uh for this 5 series here and basically the bmw hoses if you don't know they do not have any kind of like clamps like you're normally accustomed to seeing like something like that right there so it doesn't actually work like that they are preset from the factory, they're non-reusable, and basically they slide on and they have a little, let me try to see if I can get you guys in here. They have a little clamp, actually it's probably better to show on this one here. So see they have like a little clamp that goes around them. So they fit into a sleeve, so they go from here and they fit in, and then this clamp has a ledge on it um, that it goes on, and inside of the um, clamp, here, I'll show you guys. Ugh is you see inside there actually this one's gone that side's gone uh you guys can see hopefully in there there's a little o-ring that essentially keeps all the fluids uh in their respective places and what occurred with mine was the little clamp right there blew right off just uh happened with use happened with age you know you, <laughs> you ride your cars put them up wet and that thing's gonna happen and also, it's kind of notorious with these uh, 5 Series here that they're, the plastics that they use degrade over a amount of time uh, because the fluids that BMW decided to use have a, I, I believe it's called like a plasticizer or something along those lines. Basically, it degrades the plastic and causes it to soften over time, which is what exactly would happen there. It actually just broke loose of its uh, sealed fitting. So... In case you guys are wondering how to fix it, it's actually pretty simple. All, all things included, this does not take a mechanic at all. This literally takes some uh, basic hand tools, some picks, nothing crazy at all. So, all in all, it takes about an hour. Um, I'm also doing the bleeding procedure. That's why you see the battery cables. I'll go into that in a separate little video here about how to do that. But here's basically what has occurred. So... Um, like I said, it blew off here. Now I replaced it with the, uh, Phoebe Bill, uh, Bilstein, Bilstein, uh, you know, the people that make the shocks hoses instead of the OEM genuine ones for two reasons. One, uh, I have, I've got wishy-washy reports on whether or not the, uh, plastic issue has been resolved. And two, Bilstein, Bilstein, however you want to say it, however the correct way to say it, tell me down in the comments. They, um, they're reliable, they're made in Germany and I consider them almost OEM spec and in some cases like for the shocks on this 5 series here they are OEM so it literally makes no difference you're still going to go quad apart you're not getting like a uh, like a Vasco or you know some weird generic autocraft brand so it's still a good main part and actually um here sorry for the bit of a jump cut there I just want to show you main Germany nice good good stuff it's part number for this one um and yeah so how do you go about fixing this well a couple things you're going to need uh, you're going to need geez, my flathead screwdriver or a pick set like the ones you see at a dentist and a uh, this is what is this this is a T T25 um, bit now you only need this for to take off the screws that are actually right here holding your um, 
uh, air filter box in. There's a little screw that goes there and a little one that goes there. So just a little uh, something. You take that right out. This part right here, by the way, you actually push this little tab. Um, you push this little tab right here and then you slide out. You don't try to jiggle it. You don't actually don't take this screw out. I made that mistake already. So, so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, but then you just take your screwdriver and you can see there, there's like a little, let me try to get you down in here. There's a little lip in there and you just take your screwdriver and you just pull it and then you pull out on it and it'll actually come in those little grooves. You see there's a little indent groove where it lives and it'll actually get pulled up to that first little uh, little notch right there. Now, this one was the most difficult one. I actually had to spray some PB blaster in here in that little crack in order to relieve the seal. And then you just, you know, just grab one end. Yeah. Can't talk with flashlight mouth. You just grab one end and pull the other. Now for the second part, again, this is pretty easy, all things considered. Let's see if I can get you in here. It's actually that hose, the one towards the front of the car right there, the one that lights shining bright on. And that one has a little tiny clip, which you can see there, you stick that pick or you stick the screwdriver in, and you just pull it straight out. That one just comes, pulls straight out. Yeah, sorry for the jump cut, guys. My finger hit the, uh, hit the dang stop button. <laughs> a little bit difficult, again, if you can't tell the first time here. So, like I said, you got that little part there. You're just going to take it and you're going to push down. Now you want to make sure that it's fully seated in the groove. And there you go. So you can see that it is nice and fully seated against the wall of the um, this wall of the tank there. The little clip is fully seated in the downward position, which is good. Just gonna have a little visual check. It is flat and flush. Down. And then what you're gonna want to do is just give it give it a nice little tug. Because sometimes what'll happen is you'll actually put that bit on. You think it's always seated, you push the clip down, you give it a yank, and whoop, there it goes. It comes flying out. So give it a nice little tug. That one's good. Just give that one a nice little tug. That one's good. That one I already knows good. This one down here. Pretty sure it's good, but you always better to be better to be safe than sorry. Just give it a little tug. Don't you know rip obviously the hose off. But um but yeah, so you just take that little clip, pop it out. It's gonna slide right out if you have a little bit of issue. Um, these ones should be pretty self-explanatory, but this one seems like it's going to be difficult um, just by design for anyone who is trying to do this. So you're going to want to, um, like I said, put some like PB Blaster or something like that on there to be able to uh, yank that sucker out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Now, when this blue, um, as you can see here, it did, uh, did a nice little... Uh, Nice little piece on the cover. It is obviously not this dirty on the usual, but it um, decided it wanted to uh, spit up on the car. <laughs> um, so that happened. You get a, you know, you obviously get a coolant warning line. Obviously, you're gonna know because you're gonna start seeing steam. Um, and yeah, for me personally, I just had to. Uh, uh, it just happened down the street from my house, so I just had to pull over. Wait. 45 minutes or so and then just slowly creep my way back home <laughs> so take your time with it important thing if you ever do get a coolant leak do not try to jinx it or anything like that i was close enough to my house to where i knew uh how far i could be and in fact if it, if it from a cold start it takes a bit for the engine to warm up so if you can do that great but do not try to risk it if you get an engine overheated warning um if you have a newer car that will void your warranty um of course, uh, uh, you know, there's there's a bit of, you know, leeway for that. Uh, I've heard it void your warranty, but never uh, never have really gone in for warranty work, just done it all myself. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, do, do not try to risk it. These uh, these cars do have a, um, a tendency to where if they do start overheating, you can blow your head gasket, as with any car, but these are a bit more finickier. And, uh, yeah, just take it, take it at least you guys don't try to be Superman. Uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, pay or maintain or just enjoy a, uh, um, higher quality of vehicle. Then you got to deal with some of those problems. So all in all, like I said, this is the replacement of the upper radiator hose on a BMW five series. It's pretty easy, all, all inclusive. You just pull those little clips here and it comes right out. 
really not nothing too much to worry about some people have said to put dielectric grease around that o-ring on the inside uh, uh the rubber o-ring to help with the seating you can do that it might be a good option for the longevity of the seal however as long as the um uh, i'm gonna get demonetized for this one the nipple of the valve is uh is thoroughly cleaned then i don't see any kind of issue with it just doing a dry fitting because it does already have a powderized coating on there so Again, guys, just wanted to kind of run through. I'm sorry I didn't show you the whole procedure of it, but again, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's not too much else to do. You just take those clips out. Don't be afraid to, you know, get your screwdriver in there and pop it. Obviously, don't push and pry and things like that, but just give it a firm tug. It will come out, and all in all, comparatively, this is definitely an easy job for you guys to do. So if you have any kind of questions or anything like that, um, I'm no expert by any means, but I could definitely uh, maybe walk you through what I experienced if you experienced the same. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, enjoy this kind of content. Like I said, I want to get kind of car content for the channel here. Uh, this I thought was a good place to start. And, uh, you know, if you don't like it, tell me and we won't do it again. But if you like it, you know, just a little bit of variation. We'll still keep the regular, uh, you know, pew pew review and stuff like that uh, going on. Uh through all that but throw the throw throw this a little bit in the mix to kind of break up the uh the whole um the whole uh monogamy i guess you'd say of everything <laughs> so with that guys i hope everyone is having a wonderful awesome fantastic day stay tuned for the next video where i'll show you how to bleed your coolant system after you do this or any type of coolant work now this will also work um in the next video for any type of uh, BMWs that have an electric water pump. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.